So, I was at this rodeo in Cody, Wyoming this past summer. I thought it was a real hoot. I love rodeos. You might be watching a rodeo thinking, man, those dudes are tough. Most of all, you notice all screaming. The ladies love it. I'm like, these people think this is sexy. But would everyone think this is hot? Or is this just a regional thing? Well, I'm a man, so I don't look at stuff like this as sexy. But it's manly and macho. I'll give them that. I travel a lot, and I can see all kinds of different cultures. I have a chance to check out what some people are into and how they view attractive. Different strokes for different folks. Sometimes, I'm really surprised. I'll be like, this isn't attractive to me, but I guess it depends on which block you're on. In this presentation, we're gonna talk about places where the culture is sexy and people are too. It's based on personal observations and some data thrown in and what the internet says. Here are the hottest places in the country in no particular order. Beautiful people, beautiful people, and beautiful things everywhere. We're going to begin here in Vegas. Everything on the Las Vegas Strip is titillating. You go down to the shows, or you walk around the casinos, and everybody's dressed up in their best clothes, because they're here from out of town, and, well, they're trying to impress everybody. When people pack for Vegas, they're not bringing their sweatpants and flip-flops. Uh-uh. Everybody wants to go out to Vegas and look hot and let loose and have fun. It's all over. The cocktail waitresses, bartenders, the receptionists, and even the maids. Wowza! And out on the streets, it's the same thing. Even the alternative stuff's kind of sexy. There's people out here dressed up in costumes, and a bunch of it's provocative. People all cosplayed out. Ooh, hi. You blowing those kisses at me, ladies? Is it because I'm a YouTube star? Or do you do that to every poor sap walking by? I think I know the answer to that. Look, I'm not saying all of Las Vegas is sexy. <laughs> there are plenty of unsexy parts here. But there's a lot of money and a lot of sex appeal in this place. Can't deny that. Is smart sexy? Because Boston is so smart. If you look at stats on education levels, Massachusetts is always at the top with the highest number of educated people. You hang out in Boston long enough and you'll realize everyone's a know-it-all. And if they're not smart, they act like they're smart. Confidence is also sexy, right? A lot of people say Boston is sneaky sexy. People here don't dress up as often as they do in other cities. You can't wear high heels and sexy dresses walking around on old streets in February here. Fellas say they like the oversized hoodies and ball caps and sneakers and Patriots jersey look. And underneath all that is Leave it up to your imagination. Now the opposite of in shape and highly educated is little old West Virginia. Then I talk to people in West Virginia and they just have a completely different mindset. Just like when you're in cowboy land. Women and men like the dirty, tough and tumble look out here. I'm sure West Virginia women think big truck men who work hard and wear jeans are super sexy. It's definitely macho. I'll hand it to him. I think there's a lot of women here who'd rather have hard-working man than pretty boy man any day. They need blue chew here. <laughs> How do you know what blue chew is, Mappy? It's a supplement that helps you keep an erection. 
I know what it is. I'm just wondering how you know about it. That's all. Woo, what? And depending on what part of Chicago you're in, you'll see all kinds of attractive people. Yeah, I know, a lot of the city's destroyed by violence and ignorance. But, man, spend some time downtown and you'll be like, Bazooka? These big cities don't have a car culture. It's like over in Boston. A lot of people here walk around a lot, so they're not as overweight as they are in places like Atlanta, where everybody drives. I read somewhere that people in Chicago have sex a lot. Now, I don't know if that's true, and I think a lot of people fib about their sex lives, but according to a survey done by a condom brand, Chicago people say they're having sex three times a week for 35 minutes at a time what the what the? <laughs> Chicago has a history of burlesque and sex appeal going back to when everything on TV was black and white and when they were smashing bottles of liquor in the streets. Remember Betty Boop? She was considered hot back in the day. Gen Z kids are like, is that what a comic book was? Gen Z kids. Now, this isn't really a city. Colorado has a lot going on. It's the healthiest state in the country, and it's also the most fit state in the country. A lot of people here just eat well and they spend a lot of time outside. Only 25% of Coloradans are considered obese, and that's just sad that one in four people is considered low, but that's the state of America these days. Now, I just spent a week driving around Colorado, and everywhere I went, people were just above average attractive. There's a lot of younger, single, successful people here. A lot of them left crummy big cities, and they took their sex appeal with them. Denver's one of the hubs for that in the country right now, along with Nashville, and the next place on our list. Hey now! Dallas really broke onto the scene with that hit TV show in the 80s. And they've run with it ever since. Back then it was all cowgirls, big hair, big hats, big boobs, and money, money, money. There's a lot of money here today, too. Dallas is a very show-off-y type of place. Lots of fancy cars and plastic surgery. You know who has the big bucks in Dallas. It's like you know who has the money in L.A. And then you go down to Fort Worth, and it's low-key sexy. Fort Worth is comfortable in its own skin, attractive. More traditional Texas. They're far more laid back in Fort Worth. But they have a lot more money here than you might think. That low-key guy in blue jeans next to you at the bar. Well, he might be an oil tycoon. Are oil tycoons sexy? Well, their wives probably are. So Mappy brought up Blue Chew. So what is Blue Chew? Well, it's a little tablet. It's got the same ingredients that you find in Viagra and Cialis, but it's cheaper. They help you keep stronger, longer lasting erections. And they're made in the USA. And they come in the mail discreetly. There's a link in my bio about Blue Chew. You should check it out. You know who needs Blue Chew? <laughs> New Orleans. I've spent the beginning of this video talking about the sexiest places in the country I've been to. But man, I'll tell you what, New Orleans is not that. Sorry, New Orleans. Most of the people wandering around here, they're there to party, but they don't look like the party people you see in Vegas. <laughs> uh-uh. The whole place just isn't romantic. It's kind of hard to get in the mood here unless you're completely wasted. It's dark and gross and just not sexy. I know they have strip clubs and they have all this stuff in the windows down here, but just no hard pass for me. Washington DC, where all the real power is. Now I've talked about DC quite a bit and I'm really impressed with how the place has cleaned itself up over the last 20 years. This place used to be a real dump. And now there is a ton of wealthy, successful, powerful people who have moved here and taken over. 
I'm not a huge fan of the snobbery here, but I have to say, people here are dressed up, and everybody's in shape. Money, power, suits, sexy heels, lots of backdoor deals with secret documents and cigars. Huh, everyone? Cigars? There's nothing sexier than a well-dressed woman or man with power, especially if they're good looking. Everyone, and I mean everyone, except these people, are in shape in San Diego. It's in the culture here. The sun's always out, the weather's always nice. People are out at the beach, or they're down at the waterfront and walking around the upscale neighborhoods. Everyone's in yoga pants and workout clothes. The whole place is just hot. Nobody's overweight. I was thinking about that and I was like, maybe that's because they're all poor. I mean, the cost of living here is outrageous. All these people have great jobs, but all they can afford is ramen and salads. Well, it's working for them. I don't think they even need Blue Chew in San Diego. I don't think these people need help with their sex lives. San Diego is just filled with young and successful people all over. Unlike the next place on our list. The OC. This place is different than San Diego. Orange County has a lot of hot young people too. But a lot of the hot young people here are not career oriented. That doesn't make them any less hot though. And then the Cougars here. I'm talking about the men and the women. So much wealth and success and good looking older people prowling all over Orange County. There's Orange County housewives around every corner. Well, not everywhere. Anaheim, not so much. Although I do find Minnie Mouse hot. Is that weird? Go down to the beach in the OC and it's hot babes everywhere and the hillsides. So much hot in the OC hillsides. Desirable, at least to one another. And our sexiest place in the country is Miami, everyone. Hello. Probably no surprises here. I spent four days here last summer and I was like, dang, the place just eeks sexy. It's the clothes, the style, the attitude. Even the people who aren't sexy just own it and they're sexy. Some of the worst drivers I've ever seen though are in the Miami area. But there's a lot of people down here who think driving like Fast and the Furious is hot. There's just so much money in your face down here and the bare skin, and fancy cars. South Beach is a scene. Some of the most beautiful people wander around on Miami beaches every single day. And I don't think any of them even have to work. Can you imagine if everyone in Miami was even more sexually sassified? I can't. Well, there you go. Sexiest places in America. If you live in one of these places, consider yourself lucky. If you don't, that's okay. Every place has attractive. It all depends on your outlook. They're sexy around every corner if you look hard enough. Like really hard. Really, really hard. Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. And I can also help you find your new house too. Email me and I'll work with you. I'm not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.